Right, okay, we're going to start looking at uh, creating graphical user interfaces uh, in Python. So a, a GUI, as is often referred to, a graphical user interface, something you, you're interacting with. And what you can see in front of you is an example of an interface. So it's obviously got uh, menus and things like that and, and things and icons that we can use to interact with. So this is kind of working towards what you need to know in year 11 um, when you're doing your programming uh, assessments uh, in, the, in the exam, the on-screen exam, and you'll need to work with something called Kinter. And Kinter is um, a way of creating a graphical user interface in Python. So you need to know how it works, you need to know uh, obviously the key commands, how things you know interact. Um, you won't necessarily have to write out you know, whole things from scratch, but you certainly need to understand the code at the very least in terms of how it's working and how to manipulate and change it. So Kinter, as I say, is a way of creating a graphical user interface. There are other ones available to do that, but this is built in effectively into, into Python that you've got on your computer. Um, now to access Kinter, what you need to do is import uh, the module so if you think about what we've, when we've done things in the past, like um, using random numbers, uh, making random choices within uh, Python, so it might be uh, to generate a random number from, from a range, what we're doing is we're importing the module. So you might see, but if you remember back, it was just simply as simple as import random. All that means is we want to access a library of files essentially so when we're talking about modules we're talking about a library of files which are being created already by you know by developers which are there to use to do certain jobs and you can see we've got uh, some other ones listed here so you've got the Kinter one uh, and you've got the OS library as well now if you have a look at it they're, they're written out slightly different you shouldn't have to worry too much about that because I would have thought uh, in your in your exam that the this information would be on there but obviously you need to know how these things work so what we're doing we're importing the, the OS library or module and then with Kinter we're importing certain things from it um, so for example from Kinter import a message box which is basically a pop-up and then from Kinter import uh, the asterisk and that just means we want to you know import everything from uh, that module effectively there's different ways you can write it, but this is the way that has been written in the, the sample assessment. So we're going to stick with that. OK, so you've got the kind of like the, the basic parts. You've got this this um, Python file. and we're going to start adding some information into it to make it functional. Because what we want to do is create a very or basic kind of window on our screen. Uh, ultimately, then it's going to become a an interface for, with a form. Um, buttons and, and things like that and we're going to submit and check data that's been inputted so I am going to make a function okay and this function is just going to draw our window onto the screen so obviously when I'm making my function we'll start with def I'm going to call it login screen so you do the same check your capitals um, and you can see I've got my function there and obviously finishing with the colon and then I'm just going to write a comment and I want you to do the same thing as well just to annotate your code it's obviously very good practice to annotate code as you go in to remember for future reference and for other people as well so this is a function to create um, the login login box window whatever you want to call it uh, on the screen screen okay and obviously we're indented we're inside the the function now um, and what I'm going to do is create something called login window, all lowercase. And that is going to be the variable which kind of stores uh, our reference to the Kinter um, library effectively. So it's kind of just a, a shorter way of writing things out. Uh, if I was just doing import Kinter, then I would just I would have to write in uh, like this here. Um, to, to, to reference it but because we've done it in terms of using in, from Kinter import asterisk I'm just referencing uh, the TK kind of instance there uh, and I'm assigning it to this variable so what we're doing now is this login window is going to be kind of like the reference to our screen effectively 
Okay, so let me just make a note of that. So I just annotate next to it. Um, this is our canvas window uh, widget, whatever you want to call it. Um, and everything is, needs to be referred to. Everything needs uh, to refer to this variable called login window. Spell that correctly. There we go. Okay, so whenever we're, we're referencing our kind of like our interface, we're going to be referencing login window. Okay, so that's just setting things up. This is just the initial uh, kind of process we need to get things started. And again, login window. So we're referencing uh, login window. Now here, what I'm going to do is use a, me a method called title, um, and that is just. Um, just to give obviously a title to our our screen effectively so login screen uh, there we go um, and then I'm just going to put my annotation next to it the title of the window we got there okay and then the last thing we're going to do is actually put in the kind of like um, the kind of measurements effectively of, of what my what I want my screen to look like so window Login window again. I'm using this geometry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to set the values of it to 200 um, times 200, like so. There we go. 200 times 200. Okay. Now, obviously, that's my function done. What I need to do though is to be able to call my function. So again, my script, my function is called login screen. So what I need to do is put login screen with the uh, brackets and nothing going inside that. And then if I just I save that and it's just run it and hopefully it should work. There we go. And you can see we've got our our, our window, our widget that we've got here, um, which we've just created using those few lines of code. So if I wanted to make it sort of a different size, obviously I can play around with the dimensions of that um, and then obviously save it and run it again. And you can see the size of our kind of window changes. So that's the very basics in terms of uh, using Kinta. So we've imported the Kinta module. We've got this other one as well we're going to use later. Um, I've created a function, okay, and inside my function, the login screen function, you can see I've got uh, three three commands effectively. Here I'm kind of like creating, oh, I call that cam canvas, canvas window widget. Um, so login is, is kind of like login window is our variable which is storing sort of this instance of the, the Kinta um, and we're going to reference this whenever we reference what we want the tools we want to use from within the, the library. Next one is the, the title method and that's my, my, my screen um, title or window title whatever you want to call it and the last one is uh, geometry method and here I'm just uh, this I'm just setting up the the dimensions, the size of the window, which will obviously then be drawn or display on my screen. And as you can see the title, there you can see obviously the um, the size of it in, in terms of how I've just um, defined that the, the kind of like dimensions of it. And there you go, nice and easy, nice and simple. Get your annotations in there, make sure it's working correctly. I'm going to change it back to 200 because that's the, the size we're going to be working with as we move forward. Um, and that is 1.0 login box done uh, and dusted.